Okay, so for Bunny and the Moon, the first thing we need to do is go to Google if we're not using our own images and find some images. So uh, we're taking a background and a subject and putting them together. Uh, so let's look for a tropical place. So we'll go tropical, get some images. Um, if you're doing stuff off the internet, uh, once you get to your image, what you want to do is right click save image as then you're going to go and find your F drive your photo 10 folder your module 2 I'm gonna create a new folder for bunny on the moon because we're gonna have more than one file so we want to have our own subfolder and just save it in there okay so I have my background and let's put a cat in it so I'm gonna find nope I don't want that so when you're looking for images, images that are have simpler backgrounds are going to be easier to edit. But I see Grumpy Cat, so I'm going to try Grumpy Cat. So we're going to right click, save image as, and save it into our Bunny on the Moon folder. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up Photoshop, and you're going to open up your background image first. So I'm going to go File Open, I'm going to go and find where I saved it. Okay, so now I have my background. Now I need to add Grumpy Cat in here somewhere. Instead of opening this time, what you're going to do is you're going to go File Place. So you're placing another image into your document. Okay, so when we're moving things or shifting the size, or sorry, pardon me, changing the size of things, you always want to grab from a corner and hold your Shift button. Otherwise, you stretch things out funny. Okay, so you're holding Shift. To keep the proportions. Now, not sure where Grumpy Cat will fit in here, but we'll leave it here for now. Oops. We'll worry about the placement of Grumpy Cat in a little bit. So I'm going to do. The, I'm going to hit the little check mark, and now it's placed. Now we should remember from other things to get rid of background. Uh, like when we did our positive negative space assignment, we need to rasterize a layer to be able to delete stuff from it. So I'm going to go to my subject layer, so my cat layer, right click and rasterize that layer so I can start deleting the background. So we can use different uh, selection tools like we did before. Um, so I can try with the quick select, but I grab part of its ear, so I don't like that. So I'm going to go control D to get rid of it. Um, maybe I'll try the magic wand tool. So right now this the tolerance is a little high. Let's try 30. Still grabbing parts of the cat. Um, if you search an image that has a green screen, this step is going to be really easy. So I'm selecting that, the different areas, hitting delete. Um, another way, another thing we could do is we can zoom in. Also, there's some stuff in here that I, I just could use an eraser on to get rid of. Um, or just select it and get rid of it. Um, one of the, another thing you can do is use what's called the polygonal lasso tool. So it's right here. If it, it might be the lasso tool. Uh, you right click to get to the polygonal one. Um, and then what you do is you go around your subject and you click. If I double click, it will close my selection and I can go control D to get rid of it. So you're going to want to go and get rid of all of your background, try and make it as neat as possible. I'm doing this quite quickly, so I want your guys' to look a lot nicer than mine. Uh, so we can zoom in if we want and go in with an eraser around. It's also another way. You just want to be careful that it doesn't end up looking too much like you're messing around in paint, right? Um, if you can tell it's a brush stroke, it's not going to be as believable. We're trying to make it slightly believable, okay? So we're getting rid of our background. Um, in class, we had talked about if the two images don't look like they belong, especially because of their colors, 
Uh, you could make it black and white. You could look at experimenting with the different adjustment layers. Okay, let's just, so I'm just going to quickly do this so we can move on. Uh, control zero will make me see the entire thing. Now, right now where he's sitting looks a little silly. It's kind of floating there. So there's a few different options. So we can either make him really tiny and place him somewhere over here on the pier. Just chilling out on the pier. Do that. Kind of looks like he fits there. Maybe he might fit. Maybe he's hanging out with this this bird. Or another thing you could do is maybe he's really, really close to the camera and he's photobombing you. Photobomb. Now, didn't work so well because of the resolution, but you get the point. So say I didn't like the, the colors. Say they, I don't think they, they fit well together. Um, there's different things you can do. Uh, we can go into our adjustment layers. We could look at our saturation. Okay, because the cat right now isn't very bright. So if I bump up the saturation, because my background's really bright and vibrant, it makes the cat's picture a little bit more vibrant, right? So if I use the eyeball, it'll show me the difference. Okay, um, if we don't like it, we delete the layer. Uh, and other things you could do, so we could look at getting rid of the saturation completely making it black and white. Okay, um, for this step I just want you to experiment, see if you can do something with it to make it look like it belongs together. Um, it could just be looking at putting on a filter, so giving it a color cast across the whole thing. Um, you choose, I just want you guys to experiment with those. Now I don't like how pixelated that is, so I'm going to make him small. And I think you fit the best over here. So he's hiding over there. If you want, you can add a few more things to the scene. Um, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to save it. So if I was still working on it, I want to just hit save, keep it in my bunny on the moon as a Photoshop document. That means I can edit it. If you just, if you're not done and you save it as a JPEG, you lose all of your layers and your ability to edit anything. Um, before you hand it in though, what I want you to do is go File, Save As, turn it into a JPEG, and upload the JPEG to, oh, and I want to call it Bunny on the Moon. And then save it to the classroom. 